Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so I apologize for the delay in the videos. Uh, the timing has been crazy. So anyway, I will be back on schedule with hopefully daily videos um, back to what you were seeing earlier in the year. All right, so today we are doing uh, these potato chip bags. I am absolutely in love with them. They're very easy to do. Um, they look amazing. And I know I have the lights on, um, because I want to I want to show you some details of this so I know it's glaring at, at times but first off let's talk about the materials okay what you need I love this little guy this is the crimper this is what gives the edge right here so I know that some crafters they use um, they use the I don't know I don't even know what you call them this the scissors that have the the little edges right to make them look nicer I honestly feel like the crimp makes it look so professional that you don't even need to do anything to the edges but that could just be me I don't want to add another tool when I don't have to I love my tools but I don't want to add them so I really like this guy this guy's from Amazon it's on my Amazon shop which is amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter it's under potato chip bag you're going to find this you're also going to find the paper that i use so it's um photo paper it's double-sided i'm not really sure why it needs to be double-sided i i haven't done my full research on it but it just seems like most of the photo paper comes double-sided so i want it to be on the cheaper side and just you know i only need single-sided because no one's looking on the inside of the potato chip bag but anyway this is the one that I bought. I mean, this finish, if you guys have like a bliss spa, like, you know, at the W Hotel, this feels like it could be in there. Like I could open this up and it would probably have, I don't know, eucalyptus flavored toothpicks or something like that. Um, but they look, the color looks amazing. Um, I just picked this color from Canva and we'll talk about Canva in another video, but that's how I design these bags. The reason why I went to Canva is because, you know, this is print and cut, right? And I was looking at this as a potato chip bag and print and cut. I, I need something that prints out completely, right? Cause this is going to wrap around like this and we're going to stick the potato chip bag inside. So I sort of need everything printed as one whole piece, which means I'm limited with print and cut to 6.75 inches by eight and a quarter, right? And what I have printed here is actually 10 and a half inches running this way and six and a quarter this way. So I got more printing by going to Canva and being able to use the whole sheet. So that's why I did that. Um, now, because it is photo paper, you can see this was the first one that I did. And I, you know, I can't tell you why I thought it was a good idea, but I folded the paper. Like I wanted to make this even. There was no need to make it even. It would automatically be even when you uh, when you glue this thing together like that. I don't know. So anyway, when I folded it, the thing about the photo paper is wherever you have folds, you're gonna see the white. That is not like just the camera or the lighting. Where you see this fold and where you see the white, it basically crinkled the paper and my blue got faded away and all I'm seeing is a white crease. So you're gonna see that with these bags. You're not gonna, you don't see it with these two because these two things, I gave it enough space. So it, you know, was able to flatten out. With these chip bags, I needed to fold it right here, or I needed to glue it right here. It, the chip bag barely fits in, so it's a one ounce chip bag like this. The ones that are inside, they were the Doritos brand, and it felt like it had more air, so it was puffier. So we'll see if this one ends up being better, but I mean, I'm sorry, but who likes plain Fritos? <laughs> There's a reason why I'm using this as a sample. It's the one that no one in my household wanted to eat. But anyway, um, so you're going to get these little creases right here. I mean, I think it's okay, but there's no point in trying to pop this out and make it straight because once it has a dent, it, the white is showing through. 
So, but I feel like in mass, like, you know, when you're putting this on a table, this is gonna look amazing. But just know that with the chip bag, it we're sort of stressed for space, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But before I do that, I just wanna show you, so this right here is the Rice Krispie snack. You can see I sort of, I, I, I haven't figured out the measurements yet because I was trying to understand how Canva works. I love Canva because it comes with so many, almost like ready to go um, designs, the colors, the fonts, everything. Um, and so I like it because I went in here and, you know, instead of whatever wording that they had, I changed it to bear snacks because I thought it was cute. Fuel for crafters, right? For barely art because I love their glue and I'm on their design team. This is their logo. Um, so I lost my train of thought. Oh, right. So the Rice Krispie bag, like I said, I haven't quite figured out the dimensions yet, but you want to be able to wrap it completely. This is not the project where you want to be frugal and you want to be, you know, like try to get as much as you can from the paper because the way this photo paper works, you're going to get errors if you don't give yourself enough space. You're going to be smushing things in there because consider this and then look at this. These two are both this gummy, right? This one is perfection, but look it. I mean, that's why, because I gave it plenty of room to glue over here and to crimp, right? So it lays more flat. It was easier to do, and it just looks really, really good to me. Like, I feel like this, like I said, it would be in some like high-end hotel, literally that would have one gummy in there. <laughs> That's the life I'm striving for. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna show you how to do this. I will say I didn't really experiment yet um, because I feel like I don't need to experiment with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and say the best glue, the best adhesive to use for this is the Barely Art glue. And you will see why in a minute. I'm gonna use the precision tip. So here it is. This is just the, the one you put in at night so that it doesn't dry out. It's completely closed. And then I can just switch it out and put in my, my tip. You will see that with this precision tip, it puts out just enough glue for you to seal it. And then it dries in like three seconds. And because just the right amount of glue comes out, there's no excess glue that comes out, you know, onto the paper or onto your fingers. It really, I mean, it dries so fast. It's amazing. I know some other crafters use double-sided tape. Um, I honestly feel like with the double-sided tape, you don't have any room for error. So as soon as you place it down and it's sticking, you can't move it anymore because it's gonna crinkle the paper. You're gonna get the white marks on here, like I was saying with the, you know, with the bends and whatever. Um, so once you put down, you're down. Whereas with the glue, I can still move a little bit and then hold it for three seconds and it dries. I mean, like I said, I just don't think that I need to experiment with this. You'll see I, this, you know, I don't like to use glue. If you follow me, I use double-sided tape whenever I can, but really, this is amazing. All right, so let's get started. I The design space, or I'm sorry, not the design space. The design tutorial is going to be separate from this. This is putting it together, okay? All right, so first thing is don't bend, right? We want to just lightly fold over. I'm going to put the glue down, so let me switch out the glue, and look how easy this is. This is the closeout tip. And then this I'm gonna stick in and that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna run, oh, I didn't clean my tip from last night. <laughs> All right, give me one second. I just need to stick the little pin down. So in our little detour, what comes with this is their safety pin so that you can clean out your nozzle and you just stick it in both ways. I know last night I was just trying to go to bed so I didn't clean out my tip. I almost feel like in the meantime what I'll do instead of cleaning this out is I will use my other tip. So what happens is it dries out and then as you poke it the dried out glue comes out, so it works. So 
I'm gonna do that another time. I don't wanna waste your time. All right, so I'm gonna put this new tip in <laughs> and I'll make sure to clean it, okay. All right, so I don't know if you can really see that glue, but it comes out just enough glue. I'm in the white. And I'm gonna put it like this, okay. So that looks about good to me. So I'm holding down the sides and then I'm gonna stick this hand underneath and just kind of press to make sure there's a good press. I mean, the great thing about this is this is gonna stay glued and it doesn't need to be totally perfect because this bag is staying sealed the whole time. So we don't need an amazing seal on this. We just need it to not fall apart. Okay, and that's it, right? No glue on my hands, no glue here. Like it is smooth, super, I mean, the glue is great. Okay, <laughs> stick this in there. And this already feels a lot easier than the Doritos bag. I feel like there's space in here. Okay, then I'm gonna take my glue and I'm just gonna put it not all the way to the edge, but not all the way in. I wanna give myself room to move the chip bag down as far as I can to then seal the top, okay? So I'm gonna put it just maybe like a quarter of an inch, just one line. And then I'm gonna squeeze it down like this because I want this to be straight and flat because do you see how it's, yeah, it's so easy, right? So it's straight and flat. That way it goes into the crimper really easily. So this side is great. Okay, I'm gonna stick it in the crimper and I hold it like this with this hand like this and then I'm gonna crank it and I'm, only going to crank it a little bit and then I undo it and look at that it's so beautiful right um, and it's perfectly straight I mean I just I love this project um, maybe next time we should do the top first because the top so once you seal it because this has enough room you can see I can make this straight and I'm gonna be able to seal it straight and there's a little crinkling right here but that's okay it's at the bottom all right, so let's pop this open, put a little bit of glue about a quarter of an inch down or even closer, less than a quarter of an inch, close to the edge. And we're gonna push this out like this so that it's straight. Okay, so maybe now I went closer than a quarter of an inch this time and I did get some glue out, but minor, no big deal and it's sealed, okay? So now I'm gonna take the top. So yeah, this is so much easier. Look at, so the Frito bag, and you can feel it, like the, they're both one ounce chip bags, but this one had so much air in the actual bag that it was actually hard to stick into the, to, into the paper itself. All right, so this one, I'm gonna flip over, crank it like a few turns, and then undo it. Yay, it looks so good. I love it. Um, and I did unbend it because it was in the white anyway, so it wasn't gonna change anything. But there it is, bear snacks. So you have a lot of space for design, right? Like you can put, you know, Jackie's birthday. On this side it said, thanks for crafting with us, but you can put a thank you message here. And um, I've seen some really cute ideas from Miriam's. Um, I need to remember her whole Instagram handle, but she makes amazing party decor and she was helping me out um, with dimensions and just tips and stuff like that. So I really appreciate her. Um, but she puts like a little logo of what's inside. So like if it was Fritos, a little Fritos up here so that people don't have to guess as to what's inside. So you can always put that and then you can put a picture. I mean, this is photo paper so you can put whatever it is you want. Um, all right, so that is everything. Let me show you this tip. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this out. I usually rinse it with hot water and that's a lot better than letting it dry. But if you let it dry, you poke it with the needle and the whole like, you know, when we were kids and we would dry up glue on our hands and then peel it off, that would be the same thing. But this is the perfect glue for it. 
I'm gonna stick this back because I love having all my supplies all nice and neat. And what I would recommend for other things is I would take a regular copy paper, for instance, and kind of wrap it around to get the measurements of how much I wanna do. So I would think that you could probably do two Rice Krispie Treat bags on one, on one photo paper, one chip bag per paper, and these little gummies, I could probably do, I think I could do four. We'll test it out. But anyway, I hope that was helpful. I wanna see what you guys make. We'll be doing more of these. I have some really fun ideas for these. Um, I sort of wanna do like a school series for, you know, if, if my daughter has a big test coming up or something and it's gonna say like, good luck, or you've got this, you know, just encouraging messages. The other thing that I have an idea and you guys can totally steal the idea, but I'm definitely gonna do this for when my daughter's older, which is, you know, for girls, it's so hard when they're um, with tampons and, you know, the sanitary napkins. It's like so obvious what it is. I would love to make it into something like this with fun messages or, you know, a Hello Kitty on it, who, you know, whatever that they like. And so if someone happens to see, look in their backpack, it's not a big deal. I mean, I wanna, I know I'm sort of going the other way and kind of enabling and not normalizing that behavior, but you know, there's a lot that little girls go through. And if this makes them happy, you're going to see me do it. I'm doing it no matter what. But anyway, that's kind of where my thoughts are going. You know, I'm not personally going to be offering this. I don't think, um, you know, for me to, to mass produce for someone, um, I sort of just want to create and come up with frivolous ideas <laughs> and then you guys can incorporate them and and be more sensible than me but i'm going to be that person like thinking up weird things all right thank you so much let me know what you think if you have questions i will continue doing a few more tutorials of these because i love it i love how they look and i will see you guys next time thank you